This clip will walk you through how to create labels from a mail merge. Now this is assuming, or I am assuming, that you already know how to uh, build a merge file in Senior Systems and that has not changed. Uh, you will need to uh, check your instructions uh, that are online on the intranet if you do not know how to do that function already. So in this case I've already created my merge file and I'm going to go ahead and close these windows down, just kind of minimize those and get them out of the way. Now I have my Word document open. This is going to be a mailing, so I'm going to go ahead and click on mailings here. And I want to do this as a mail merge. So you'll notice that the workflow goes from left to right. So I click on start mail merge and I'm going to select labels. At this point, I'll have an option as to what type of labels I want to use. You want to make sure that you select the right label. In this case, I'm going to use the Avery. You'll notice that they have many different labels here, uh, for just for about every vendor out there. And a standard mailing label, I believe, is the 5160. So I'll just kind of scroll down to that and select 5160 and say OK. Now I want to select my recipients. In this case I'm going to use an existing list. This is the one that I've already created. I've built that merge file uh, out of Senior Systems. Now this screen should look very familiar to you if, you've, if you have done this before. I need to change this to All Files and I'm going to navigate to where I have saved my sample file. In this case I threw it on my desktop. Yours may be on your W drive in a folder called Senior or Senior Systems. So I'm going to open up that document and link it. And now I'm ready to begin to add uh, information to my, my list. Now I can edit my recipient list. In this case all I want to do is insert merge fields. So I'm going to go ahead and insert uh, a mailing name and uh, I'll follow that with address line one. Address line two. Until I have all of the lines in that I need in order to create my merge. Now, this is an important step. Once you have that in here, you'll notice that that only exists in this first uh, label, what will be the first label. I need to update my labels. It took me about 30 minutes to find that button, realize what I was doing, but here it is. Update labels. It'll now port that information across to all of my labels. And at this point, I can finish a merge. And I'm going to edit the individual document. We'll take a look at all of them. And when this is done, I should have mailing labels. So there you go, mailing labels in Office 2007.